Oh, God. They're selling a book. No. It's out of here. Okay. Love is fake. <laughs> What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Croak and Crow show. We've got a lot to talk about today. My name is Spencer Cartier. And I am Miss V. Well, hello there, Miss V. And right here we got Frank um, expressing himself. Check out the Expressing Yourself podcast. You can dress however you want to dress. So it's been a wild day today. Mm. It's oh. been a wild day. I, I haven't even been able to think about our podcast because I've been in, in the midst of a revolution. S- yesterday. Yesterday and today. Mm-hmm. Today I made a m- so much money. Continuing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's speak for the future. No, it's, it's a revolution against you say Wall you Street. You want a revolution. Well, that's all we can afford. It's time for us to take back the money that is ours. Oh, yeah. Fight the good fight. I, I, I'm a casualty of war. I told you, and now I'll tell you. I I lost a lot of money. My my blood was spilt on the battlefield that is the stock market. But I died a martyr. I'm going to go out on a limb here okay. and say that there may be a portion of our audience that has no idea what you're talking about. Okay. So basically, I'm this isn't our podcast, so I'm going to try to keep it within 30 yeah. seconds. Big hedge funds and corporations run the stock market. Everyone knows it. One of the main things that they do is short the market. What it means to short the market is you're betting that the market will go down. So there are businesses that through just in general or especially with coronavirus, they have been betting to fail and they'd win if they failed. Um, GameStop, AMC, the movie theater are, are two of them. So... A group of young lads on internet forums, such as Reddit, you know, um, would r slash Wall Street bets. Is that right? Doesn't matter. Um, they w- decided to take that on with the masses. They don't have the money, but they have the masses. You know, a, a million one dollars is a million dollars, and to up the price of these stocks, causing the bet against the short to get go belly up and then the billionaires lose the small people win ding and it's a bloody war listen they're shutting down robin hood they're shutting down weeble your they're shutting down <laughs> your hero is david david and this is quite the david and goliath story isn't it yes but don't worry about money. Give unto Caesar that is Caesar. I lost money, but you know what I didn't lose? My spirit. That's right. My soul. My happiness. Mother Teresa said, I don't want to be successful. I want to be faithful. I don't want to be successful. I want to be faithful. I'd like to be both. Is that possible? Sure. Sure. Why not? It's our podcast. And I'd say she was successful. Extremely. Yeah, I'd say so. She was just very humble. I would say so. I think mm-hmm. a household name. Okay, guys, do you know what episode it is? I'll tell you what episode it is. It's 53. That's 5 3. It is. 5 plus 3 is 8, and 8's a wonderful infinity number. Mm, 8 times 8 is 64. Minus 8 is 76. (laughs) And that brings us to today's topic. Yes. Today's topic, you know, dim down the lights, light a candle, because we're talking about love. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's not Valentine's yet, but I'm feeling the love in the air. And we're talking to you, boys and girls, who have partners or don't have partners yet, but you're like, I'm going to have a partner one day. But isn't it also able to be used in... in, in Friendships. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yes. Relationships, no matter. It's good to know what that person... It's good to know. You know, we, we've all been mm-hmm. locked up in our house mm-hmm. and, and we're going to be out soon and then... We need to know how to express our love and joy for our neighbor or our our loved ones. And the way to learn how to do that is through love languages. We all we all got different love languages. Right. And if you don't know someone's love language, you could be you you could think you're showering them with love. Yep. And they're like, it's not really what I want it. 
Yeah, exactly. And it's it's important to know because everyone, they might not know exactly, but they mm-hmm. sort of have a, a feeling of what they like. Of course. But what you like isn't necessarily what someone else likes. You already know your love language, as I you told everyone know yesterday. know my love language. You told everybody it was... Receiving gifts. Just Is it receiving or is it just... It's receiving gifts. Oh, I thought it was gifts, gifts. Gifts for you, gifts for me. It's re- I don't have my bifocals on, but it's, re- <laughs> it's receiving... Your spectacles. Gifts. Okay. But yes, today's so, love languages... I'm love gonna take the quiz. Languages, right? Yes, we're gonna give her. She, do you know your love language? Um, no. So in this podcast, she's gonna take the quiz, and we're gonna find out. But first, a message from our sponsors. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> um. So a little, little background. I did take a class based specifically on love languages. You're One lying. The, no. It was the. Surprise. It was in college. Okay. It was a religion class, but it oh. was um, it was I forget the name of it. I think it was love and marriage. Was it was the class? Love and marriage. Love. Are and... you gonna sing everything? But yeah, so that's maybe how... maybe it's my love language. So that's Is singing a choice. Let's see here. No. So that's how I know mine so well. You can well. see just fine. Why do you keep doing that? <laughs> All right. So before we we get into my love language, before. We get into your love language. What are the love languages? Okay. Can Do you think you could name? Well, I know gifts. Okay. And I think one is like hugging, like, you know, that I'll kind of... I'll you physical touch. Yeah, like people who are very touchy-feely. Can I hug you? You know, the, yeah. the, the question. And um, so gifts and physical touch, a love language, um, probably maybe taking you on a trip or something. Quality time. Quality time. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Um, Money, or is that gifts? That would be that would be gifts. Okay. Acts of service. Okay. And words of affirmation. Oh, just words themselves. Okay. Just to tell someone you love them. That might be all someone needs. They don't need mm-hmm. gifts. Yeah. They don't need a hug. They just need that. Okay. So now, do you want to find out your love language? I'm kind of afraid because sometimes I do these quizzes and tests and. And I don't agree with it. Like, it's like, it says this is what you are. And I'm like... So, well, here's the one thing about it. It's sort of like any quiz you take. It's not saying that is specifically your love language. Like, everyone has a mix of these. When I say I love gifts, doesn't mean that I don't like to be words of affirmation. Right. I want someone to tell me they hate me and then they give me me a, you know, a matchbox Mm car. It's like, well, you just said you hated me, dude. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Still got my dreidels. All right. And so if you viewers at home want to take this quiz while we're doing it, feel free to search love language quiz into Google. And the top search will be the five love languages. And let's just get into it. Here we go. I'm ready. Okay. Gender. You are female. Age. 18 to 24. (laughs) <laughs> country does that matter united states this is probably stealing all my information i know Wait a have minute. you read the five love languages singles edition oh god they're selling a book no it's out of here okay love is fake <laughs> it's all about money in this world that's why i choose I'm, well, I, but you know i am okay. a little against it because i just feel love is not visible <clears throat> go ahead all but all of these represent Okay, it's Invisible. fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's more meaningful to me when, and these are your two options, someone I love sends me a loving note, text, email for no special reason. I hug someone I love. Well, you hate hugs, so I'm not even going <laughs> to entertain that. It's more meaningful to me when I can spend alone time with someone I love, just us. Someone I love does something practical to help me out. Practical. Practical. You're a practical lady. Sometimes. It's more meaningful to me when someone i love gives me a little gift as a token of our love of concern for each other did i read that wrong or i get to spend uninterrupted leisure time with those i love what was the first one someone i love gives me a little gift as a token of our love of concern for probably time with them instead okay it's more meaningful to me when someone i love does something unexpected for me to help me with a project 
Or I can share an innocent touch with someone I love. Well, we know it's not that one. Project. <clears throat> it's more meaningful to me when someone I love put their, puts their arm around me in public. Someone I love surprises me with a gift. Gift. <laughs> Anything that has to do with touching. I know. <laughs> now I'm going to seem like a weirdo. Like, I, I'm fine with, with touching. Right, it's, Frank? It's more meaningful to me when I'm around someone I love, even when we're Back not road. really doing anything. Or I can be comfortable holding hands, high-fiving, or putting my arm around someone I love. Not that one. I'll high-five. No. I'll got rid hug. Of I, you don't have to lie. I'll, you know, I'll... Uh... It's more meaningful to me. See, that, but that's the thing. Everyone has different love languages. Okay. So this is good to know. And okay. it's like, you will meet people in life that you're like, oh, I love when someone wraps their, wraps their paws around me. And <laughs> are, are you a soulless, heartless person? No. No, it's just not how you express okay. it. Okay. Thank you. It's more meaningful to me when I received a gift from someone I love or I hear someone, I hear from someone I love that they love me. What? Uh, I'll take the gift. <laughs> it's more meaningful. We need an Irish edition. It's more meaningful to me when I sit close to someone I love. I am complimented by someone I love for no apparent reason. Complimented. Okay. It's more... Do I have to read it's more meaningful to me? No, 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 no. I get the chance to just hang out with someone I love. I unexpectedly get small gifts from someone I love. Um, I'll hang out. I hear someone I love tell me I'm proud of you. Someone I love helps me with a task. (laughs) <laughs> help me i'm picturing like i'm doing something and someone's like i'm proud of you for carrying that down the steps I'm proud of you for doing the dishes <laughs> i get to do things with someone i love i hear supportive words from someone i love support you want supportive words rather than doing things yeah okay someone i love does things for me instead of just talking about doing nice things i feel connected to someone i love through a hug got that yeah I hear praise from someone I love. Someone I love gives me something that shows they were really thinking about me. Praise. I'm able to be around someone I love. I get a back rub from someone I love. Around. (laughs) Yeah. Someone I love reacts positively to something I've accomplished. Someone I love does something for me that I know they don't particularly enjoy. Um, They're proud of my accomplishment. I feel like you're just now spitballing. No, I'm, 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 because I'm warmed up now. It's okay. like that's. What... I'm able to be close physical proximity. I sense something I love showing interest. I sense someone I love showing interest in the things I care about. Close physical proximity, because I'm when you're talking, I'm not just thinking. I'm thinking of like of of my kids, my friends, my sister, my yeah. um, you know. Um. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm I, trying, I hear you. I'm trying to put it all in there. I hear you. Someone I love works on special projects with me that I have to complete. Someone I love gives me an exciting gift. Oh, boy. Uh, gosh, I like both. There's no option for both. Do you know what I mean? Like like w- when you and I worked together because it was such such a task with yeah. the shed, that was great. But then who doesn't like an exciting gift? Yeah. It's not just a gift. It's an exciting an gift. An exciting gift. Oh, that's exciting. Or nobody helped me with the damn project. I'm going to say help with the project. I'm, Frank. I'm complimented by someone I love on my appearance. Someone I love takes the time to listen to me and really understand my feelings. Listen. I can share a meaningful touch in public with someone I a love. A mean touch? A meaningful. Uh. Someone I love offers to run errands for me. Uh, uh, I'm going to take the errands. Someone I love does something special for me to help out. I get a gift that someone I love put thought into choosing. What's the first one? Someone I love does something special for me to help out. Uh, gosh, it's so hard because there's so many things I hate help with. Yeah. But then there's also so many presents that I hate. Yeah. And you just keep giving me those two options. I, yeah, I think it's... Well, there's only five love languages, so it's all really going to be the same thing. Um. Okay, what is the question? Sorry, I know um, I'm taking do, up time. It does something special for me to help out uh, get a gift that someone put a lot of thought into. Uh, no, too much pressure with a lot of thought on the gift. I'll Got take it. the... Someone I love doesn't check their phone while we're talking to each other. Someone I love goes out of their way to do something that relieves pressure on me. I don't care if people look at their phone. I don't know what's with these people who are like, how dare you do that to me? I can look forward to a holiday because I'll probably get a gift from someone I love. I hear the words, I appreciate you from someone I love. Appreciate. 
Someone I love. This is long, isn't it? It is. I wonder how long. Someone I love and haven't seen in a while thinks enough of me to give me a little gift. Someone I love takes care of something I'm responsible to do, but I feel too stressed to do at the time. Oh, definitely the second one. Someone I love doesn't interrupt me while I'm talking. Gift giving is an important part of the relationship with someone I love. I guess don't interrupt me. Someone I love helps me out when they know I'm already tired. You don't have to say someone I love anymore. I get to go somewhere while spending time with someone I love. (laughs) Help me out when I'm tired or go with me somewhere. Yeah. Help me out when I'm tired. Again, I just, I don't like help, but I'm going to pick that one. Uh, Touches my arm or shoulder to show their care or concern. Uh, Gives me a little gift that they picked up in the course of their normal day. Gift. But this is the thing. I'm only getting two choices. It says something encouraging to me. Um, spend time in a shared activity or hobby. Also, like, encouraging sometimes is annoying. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? You got this. Yeah. <laughs> do those dishes. Do that laundry. I'll do the ho- Someone will do a hobby with me. Um, surprises me a small token of their appreciation. I'm touching someone I love frequently to express our friendship. I'm not touching anyone frequently. That's... Someone, especially when I know that someone loves to help me out, especially when they know I'm already busy. I hear someone I love tell me they appreciate me. This is like, you know, when you take the test for a job and they just keep repeating in different yeah. ways because they're like, we just want to make sure that you're yeah. not going to rob us. <sighs> what was the first one? Someone I love helps me out, especially if they know they're already busy. If I, if I know they're already busy. I just don't like help, Frank. I hear someone I love tell me that they appreciate me. All this appreciating is not helping either. Someone knows I get annoyed by this kind of stuff. Is that <laughs> on there? I'm going to blindly say one. I even forget what it was. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like the eyeglass test. <laughs> yeah, one I know. Or two. Is this better? Is that one better? Is this better? Or two. <laughs> uh, it's more meaningful to me. Wait, I'm not saying it anymore. I get a hug from someone who I've... Okay, I'm just going to... Sk- Wait, oh, is it? Oh, thank God. Your primary love language is acts of service. I don't know. But I thought she said I'd have... you. It would show you the numbers. Yeah, I don't know if I did the right one. Oh, wait. Uh, no, no, you, you do. Okay. Acts of service. Okay, so it's only yours is only 37%. So it's not truly... Yeah, so that'll make more sense. So, so yeah, 37% acts of service. Okay, it's you not a, even half. You have a tie for words of affirmation and quality time at 23%. Okay. Receiving gifts at 13%. Okay. And a physical touch at a whopping 3%. Okay, so that... So that makes sense. It, Thanks for coming, guys. All right. I'm just like... I'm readjusting i'm just, i'm t- ready to tell you guys why receiving gifts okay is the best love language okay. to me and then after that we'll talk about how to apply a love language okay here's my thing guys i'm a pretty cynical fella mm-hmm. more than cynical I it's just, weird though because sometimes you're not like you're you know like sometimes you're romantic and then other times you're cynical it's like weird thank you for bringing that up okay i am a romantic but i'm also cynical hmm and that's where this, this, all of, of the, what I'm about to tell you comes out. So here we've got words of affirmation. Oh, you're so great. Quality time. Let's sit, let's just hang out, watch a movie together. Acts of service. Oh, hey, don't worry about that. I got, I got you. Physical touch. Hey there, pretty lady. Being the romantic that I am, or even not, like, if, if we're not talking about romantic, when you're talking about when you're with someone. When I'm with someone physically in the same room, that person's the only person I'm thinking about. And it's like, it's not just romantically. Like I said, like I'm, I'm not worried about my phone. It's like full attention. Yeah. Even if I don't really like you. Right. Uh, uh, being in the proximity of someone yeah. elevates your connection with them. Oh, yeah, true. But you, you know what I mean? Like you can spend time with anyone and, and you two will get close. And so... My sin, my, my romantic side is what does that. And my cynical side is telling me, you're just right next to that person. You know, it, it's, you're in proximity with that person. Is it, is it lust? Is it, it, it what's going on that, it, or just. Oh, your romantic side is saying this isn't good enough? No, my romantic side is say, like, say I'm with a lady, a little fine lady. And I'm in the same room as that person. I can do all, I can do four of these love languages. Okay. And I don't know if it's just my, my like, being physically. Like, Frank's looking pretty fine tonight with his <laughs> earrings. Is it genuine? Or is it just 
attraction. Okay. And, and that's a big. Uh, qu- yeah, it's a big question. Everyone has to it's, answer. It's a big yeah. question. Everyone has to answer. But to me, and I feel I feel it reverse. That's where the, where the cynical side comes in. Is then I think other people are doing that. I'm like, oh. yeah, you're, you're you're giving me words of affirmation. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're giving me quality time. You're, you're physically touching me. But like how everyone falls in love on a movie set. Yes. In the next movie, it's or, a, or next at work, set. at work, or at yeah, work, you know, yeah. people are always falling in love at work. Now, here is the thing about gifts: it's not about material. It's not about buy me buy me a new phone. To me, what a gift is saying is you were not in the room. I was not physically affected by your presence here, and you were on my mind. Okay, I was thinking about you. This, this. Made me think of you. I had that lined up perfectly. I'll line it back up. When I wasn't there, because, you know, with like sometimes when my muscles are out of my shirt, mm-hmm. it's easy to be like, okay, let me give you some words of affirmation. Okay, okay. But this is like, oh, I, I, was, I was at the store. Out of sight, out of mind, yeah. I was at the store and I thought, of sight, and I, in mind, and I I thought about you. Right. So it has nothing to do with the gift. Okay. But by doing that, you had just told me you were thinking about me when I was not there. Okay. And so that is, to me, it's the one love language that takes the other X factors X factors out of the equation. Okay. It's just pure thinking about that person when they weren't there. And you can see that there are receiving gifts, like actions that aren't material based. Mm-hmm. Just the simple of remind, remembering like anniversaries and stuff. True. Just anything that is this. That person's not there, and, and, the, tr- and you, you were know, thinking about it. You know, it's true. I haven't, I haven't thought of it like that, and th- and that is really true. So that is my little rundown of why receiving gifts is the best love language, but it's. I think I should sneeze. I thought you were going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> it to me, it's the best love language. But what we're about to talk about is it's not about the love language that you have. I learned this in my class. This was okay. what, this is what it was I all know about. Where we were going? Okay. It's about the partnership between you and your friend, you and your significant other. You need coworker. To, coworker. You need to know the other, the person who you're spending okay. time with love language more than you know your own. Okay. Because sometimes you don't see your like. It doesn't matter where yours is. Mm-hmm. If I buy a gift for someone, thinking they're gonna be feeling what I felt when I got a gift, mm-hmm. that's not true. They could be like, all I all I wanted you to do was just help me with my dishes, and, and you're coming in with uh, a Rolex. Right. That'd be pretty. That'd be pretty pretty baller if I did that. <laughs> so it's important to know your significant other or friend, people's love language. Yeah. And then you want to cater to that. So if I was with someone, mm-hmm. and they knew they knew this about me, they'd buy me a little gift from the store. Oh, I thought about you. Yeah. And I would know that their love language was let's see here <laughs> there's only five how do you not have it memorized Qual- quality time mm-hmm. so i got back from a long day at the coal mine and instead of going out playing some billiards with the boys i was like hey do you want to just have some us time tonight that's not my like, like I-, I could care less about that if she said it to me i'm like mm-hmm. oh no go out with your friends mm-hmm. but for- i know that that's her love language right and so it's up to me to meet her love language okay thoughts well, um, it sounds great on paper. Oh, but in practice. <laughs> no, it sounds great on paper, for real. No, I'm just really wondering about a mismatch of wanting to make someone happy, but if you are, if if you just don't feel comfortable with that love language, so it's yeah. like that's the other thing I, I learned in the class. Um, I didn't really. Like, I try to pay attention in class. Like, I'm not an expert. It's just this is all sort of like knowledge that i was hearing as i was probably doodling or something but as with the knowing and understanding your partner's love language to give it to them there also needs there is like this respect yeah. of everyone doesn't have my love language like right before you even talk to people and it's like okay i'm gonna go find out and they're gonna do to me and i'm gonna do them first you need to acknowledge that's not everyone's love language like i can't go into a relationship or a friendship and be down when well, they haven't bought me anything right are they not thinking about me right when they're out is it, and i it's understand because then they might be doing things that i'm not even seeing because it's like 
yeah, yeah. You've said yeah. You, you said you love me a thousand times, but right. How do I know that you really love right. me if you don't? If you're not, uh, is this buying me is things? this um like can it be can it can you can it be changed like? Well, yeah, because like we had just said. Well, saying yeah makes me a little nervous because like say you really weren't a gift person and and someone was like, I'll make them one, you know, and they just keep showering you with gifts. Well, no, they can't be changing that. Like. Someone can just hug you every day and it's not going to make you like one day love hugs, but it can change in the way of like, I guess you're sort of, you sort of grow up and, and you get your own love language. But if you are in situations with certain people, it might be, you can grow to understand and appreciate the gesture, but it's, hey, it takes two to tango. Like yeah. hopefully it's not just one person finally putting up with, right. um, like you get getting showered with gifts like hopefully it goes both ways and you grow to learn um now can you use the fact that you now know what your love language is on yourself yeah sometimes i i go out and i say spencer would love this <laughs> <laughs> i'm serious um i'm being serious yeah i know people who can't buy anything for themselves unless yeah. they feel completely justified and then they'll be like oh i got this but like and they're not lying yeah but they literally feel guilty about getting something for themselves so they'll be like well i had to get this because the other one wore out and you know it was on sale and you know they just they, you hear them talking and you're just like how about you just bought it because you saw it you knew you would like it and you had the money you know well no i think let's, let's go through them okay so uh, so we, we receiving gifts you can buy like treat treat yourself. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. It's like a uh, Parks and Rec when um the guy and the girl would go on like the treat yourself days. I can't remember it so much. Okay, words of affirmation. That's an easy one. Tell yourself you yes, love yourself. Definitely. You know, I I feel like that's the the biggest. You know, if they if we switch these to hate languages, why is no? You're so true. Words of hate. It's ha- so to yourself happen <clears throat> so much more than it's words so of affirmation. It's so easy to 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 say terrible things to yourself like i'm such an idiot why did i do that or mm-hmm. you know i've even heard people say when they when they mess up something like they'll say um the thing's happening on saturday and they go no i'm lying it's happening on sunday and i always think like why are you saying you're lying like you weren't lying you messed no. up anyway if you said to them you should say nice things to yourself you're like oh my god that's so corny i yeah. would never do that but very very easily we say bad things to yeah, ourselves yeah that's what i was just saying and mm-hmm. it's like that's so common to say bad things. Yeah. I'm an idiot. I'm a genius. <laughs> why, why aren't we saying that? No. <laughs> um, okay. Quality time. No, that's, that's true. A, no, that's a good one. Like, that is a good one. Like well, I, I go on my walk every morning. That's right. And uh, I feel like even for me, there was a while where I wouldn't want to do anything alone. Like I have a friend who he goes out to eat alone by yeah. himself all the time. And I couldn't imagine doing that. But he's like, it's the best. He's like, I could. he goes to the movies by himself. Mm-hmm. He, like, And he has a, a million friends. Your sister went to uh, more than one concert by herself. Yeah. And and I think you you owe yourself. Like, it, it's it's almost, there's a whole new experience. And you don't have. Being by yourself. And you don't have the added responsibility of, mm-hmm. is this person happy? Acts of service. What's that? It, what would that be? All right, sorry, we had a little technical difficulty. Someone kicked out the microphone. Frank. Yeah, it was how Frank. many times do we have to tell you? So he, where it gets dancing feet. Where were we? We were on acts of service, and you said, "How can you act a service on yourself?" Well, that's the other way, but okay. <laughs> how can you show an uh, act of service to yourself? Yes. And I'll tell you how. It's 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 not going to sound fun. Okay. But it's not fun when you do it for other people. What, what what's an act of service for someone else? Oh, like, like doing something you know you have to do. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. like oh, I'll wash the dishes for you. I'll I'll run errands for you. Oh, that's true. And how people nowadays say my future self. Yeah, exactly. And when you you make your bed in the morning, it's think of it like that. Like literally, you're doing an act of service for yourself. You're yeah. going to appreciate a nice made bed to walk into at night. Physical touch. You might be thinking, how do I do that? But people do it all the time. People love to go and get massages and stuff. That's right, and and that's right. that's like you feel better when mm-hmm. when, you, when that hat when you get you know your muscles all all no, you're right. pushed in, and that's you're treating maybe yourself. even like 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 group sports like football or something. Uh, let me treat myself to physical touch and go 
go get tackled? I, I don't think so. <laughs> um, okay. So, yes. Yeah, so, I, I still stand by it. So, those <laughs> are the love languages in full. You can do them on yourself. You can have them within yourself. You can spread them to other people. And it's important to know people's love languages. Mm -hmm. Now, my question, I haven't got this question answered, is are there hate languages? Because I think there is. Define what what you mean by it. It's not really hate, but is it equally important? Like when to know so when someone loves you because there's a lot of miscommunication with like oh. someone might give you the silent treatment, okay. um you know like like different little things of like got you oh they're upset mm-hmm. and is it as much as you know knowing when someone loves you do you know okay they don't hate me they're upset and the way they react is by right you know um breaking things <laughs> <laughs> I don't know uh, I don't know that sounds like a toxic quiz <laughs> yeah I'm gonna write a book on it. Um, okay yeah definitely five hate languages but um do you see you're looking at the list yeah do you see those languages um in the bible Mm, good question do i see these languages in the bible well acts of service of course charity Um, acts of service so where is that in the bible where is that in the bible i think are they in the bible or do you see it being preached in the bible like do like be kindly to others like would um would uh the good samaritan would that have been an act of service okay um you see receiving gifts uh the oil on jesus and okay. they said why is she giving you the oil and it's not about the oil okay it's about it's, it's not about how much money can we get for this she's showing her love by giving some right. of value to me god right and so you see that easily um words of affirmation i think jesus was was big on that and you tell people definitely give people a lot of words of affirmation that was always good quality time um i think i I mean i think jesus really expressed all of these like quality time especially with like the apostles the apostles Mm -hmm. and even like the lepers when he went and and, everyone right that was actually physical touch that would be a good example of that. that um so I don't know if I can use the same example for both um, quality time. I'm sure Noah and his and his kids got pretty wow. acquainted. <laughs> I bet <laughs> pretty acquainted when you're stuck on an ark. Uh, is that all of them? Yeah. Yeah. Words of affirmation, quality time, receiving gifts. So they're all in the Bible. They're all there. Mm-hmm. Everything you do, because what well, well, what is God? God is great. <laughs> God is love. God is love. God is the, represent- oh, the representation of love. Oh, so it's like love. the I'm five con- God languages, the five languages of God. Well, yeah, because so we have we have we have love flowing through us. We can't help but have it. That's right. As, m- as much hate as you have in your heart, I have, can't think of a human being who has not had some kind of love in their heart. No, you're right. Because that's what it's, it's what we're, we're we're vessels. Yes, we're vessels of love, folks. Yes. Not to get too mushy gushy, but no, we're we're love. True. We're filled with it. A little stardust. It's true. So think, think of all the inmates who are in jail because of love. Crimes of passion. Unfortunately. So we're not going to talk about love languages of hate because I haven't written my book yet. <laughs> but I'm going to write. Um, what is the title? Five love languages. I'm going to do languages. the five like languages. Okay. Like, like you like, know, wh- just dial it down a little. Like it would be like nodding your head at someone when you pass yeah, by. Yeah. Like. You know, um, sometimes I am not someone's friend because it is too much. It's too much love. It's too much love. They they call you on the phone and they should be texting you. <laughs> yeah. That's a big one for me. It's too much, you know? Yeah. Um, or if we do a phone call, like, can it be shorter than longer? Um, a, a, a languages of like, you know? And also because people will say, that's rude or that's mean. And, and you say... Oh, I, I steer away from that person because they're too much. And it's like, yeah, but don't you understand? If they continue with their intensity, I'm not going to see them at all. Yeah. And, but if they knew just to dial it back a little, there would be many, many, many. There's a lot of opportunities. People always say, they say like some of the, my my favorite or best friends are the ones that I want to talk to in, in weeks. And right. then we can just meet up and right. then it's like nothing rather than that feeling of like. Right. And people take it wrong. So yeah. it's like. I had a party and you didn't come and like that yeah. really offended me and 
I well, feel now that you're not my friend. And it's like, I didn't come to your party for a lot of different reasons. Yeah, but that happens to me with um, physical touch. We come from a family that's not, you know, we're, we're not like kissing grandmas on the cheeks and stuff. It's just, we're friendly. We all love each other. But and- I say it's Irish. Irish people might give me trouble for this. Um, but stereotypically, you know, the Italians are the yeah. kissing and a hugging. And the, and the-, the old Irish goodbye. <laughs> uh, that one gets you out of a lot of hugs. <laughs> right. But there is these situations where people think I'm standoffish. Yes. Cause not that like if someone comes up for a hug, I'm not going to make a scene and say, oh, well, now I am because it's COVID. Like COVID's actually <laughs> I know, I know. Let, let me live the life I'm I already know. living. But um, it's like, oh, like he's he doesn't want to hug me. And it's like, no, I don't want to hug anyone. Exactly. And it's OK if you or if, you, if people are assertive, like, oh, come and give me a hug. Yes. I'm like, OK, but I'm never going to be the initiator. Bring it in. Come on. But yeah, have we, have we covered it? We covered the love languages? Um, I don't know. Is it a trend? Is it a fad? Is it real? Is, do you think that's that? Or do you think, no, like this makes a lot of sense? No, this makes a lot of sense. And I'm going to tell you why. The, all of these are representations of mm. love. It's just what we choose to value more. And it's not put on, on us. It's like, oh, you're such a Sagittarius. You hate being touched. It's like, no, just through my life experiences, this is sort of what I gravitate towards right. to express my love. So it's like sort of, you know, it's yeah, choose I your really, own adventure. And in, in 2021, you know, um, more than any other time, we really are learning to accept other people for being yeah. not what we thought they should be or could be or yeah. would be. You know, and so as much as the love languages I'm seeing are for myself, I think they really help for other people because you know like yeah well that's that's the important thing about it It, it's because what the whole class was about was not let's learn what you love right it it was the whole class it was called love and marriage and it was about the fact that your only experiences you have are yours and if you go through life then i'm going through my life thinking that nobody likes strawberries right nobody likes strawberries they don't taste good right nobody likes chocolate it doesn't taste good and it's like this was learning that's fine like you don't like strawberries. You don't like chocolate. That person loves it. So why don't you buy them chocolate covered strawberries? Right. And I'm like, wait, I should buy them chocolate covered. And it's like, well, they love it. And it's right. like, oh, okay. Same thing with love yeah, languages. Yeah, it's really, I'm glad. I think I, I'm going to, I'm going to vote yes. Yes on love languages. For the love languages because um, just like we talk about religion all the time and we say, because your parents mm-hmm. told you something, something about the Bible, religion, church, a sin. And then you say, okay, like. That's the way it is. This is how we should go. Yeah. And now we're saying in this day and age, no. What do you think? It's the same thing like, say my dad always got my mom flowers on her anniversary. And I'm like, a woman gets flowers on her anniversary from her husband. And then I'm not getting the flowers. And then I'm like, he doesn't love me. I've never even audited myself to see if I want flowers on my anniversary. Yeah. Or to see what he is doing, you know. Right. Oh, but my dad, my my dad never, you know, he's washing my mom's car and doing her dishes, and, that's and, good. and my husband is, and so. Ding, it's, where's our bell? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Ding. It's my Christian <laughs> meme bell now. Yeah, yeah. But, I know. Actually, it's like Pavlov's bell. Like I, when I hear it, I think yeah. of the Christian meme, meme, meme review. Yeah. <laughs> but let us know in the comments below what are your what's your love language yeah what did you get if you don't know it take the quiz it only takes like 30 minutes but let us know what your love language is let us know if you have any questions let us know if we were off base with any of this maybe maybe i'm yeah. a, I'm, a, I'm a fool for liking gifts or maybe um if your love language is what was it personal time or something you said e- quality time that's when you take that those 30 40 minutes for yourself and you say i'm watching croak and crow everyone leave me alone i'm watching croak and crow <laughs> but it is friday so we're gonna have a nice weekend but you know what that means stay tuned for a christian, christian meme, meme review. review and then we'll be back next week with some super spectacular podcast that's right have a good weekend join the revolution oh, yeah. fight fight the power fight the power david and goliath and and let's 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 all rock and let's roll let's upend it everything let's let's, let's, let's upend society flip the table peace frank frank will do it <laughs> <laughs>